A former Royal Marine from Dorset is now getting worldwide recognition for manufacturing armoured vehicles. Jez Hermer and his brother Duncan have already won orders from police forces across the UK. They're also bidding to win contracts in Africa and the Middle East. Steve Humphrey reports. Just putting these furniture rails in here now. Six years ago, oh, former Royal Marines oh, officer oh, Jez Hermer oh, had oh, no oh, staff, oh, no oh, factory oh, and little money. Now he and his brother Duncan have nearly 30 workers and a production line in the heart of Dorset that's making armoured vehicles for a number of police forces, including the UK Civil Nuclear Constabulary. The brothers have come a long way in a short time. It's been a huge learning curve and we're learning every day. So, you know, how to actually produce something, how to produce it efficiently, how to design something, how to test it, how to deal with the market. There are so many facets to it. There are companies who have been around for 30, 40 years now that, that could only dream of doing what we're doing and achieve what we're achieving. So, yeah, we do pinch ourselves occasionally. Already some of their vehicles are in the thick of the action on the streets. The company produced 165 armoured Land Rovers for the police service of Northern Ireland. They've also designed and developed their very own armoured vehicle. This is the Crossway, named after Crossways, the village near Dorchester where the company is based. It's very exciting. Um, and it gives you, you know, quite a sense of achievement in knowing that, you know, our workshop here has done everything from the axles uh, to the assembly to the testing um, and driven it out the door uh, for the customer. Amongst those buying these vehicles are Dorset Police and Thames Valley Police. This Crossway vehicle has a 3.2 litre diesel engine, it's got an automatic gearbox and it's bulletproof. The company is exploiting Dorset's rich vein of expertise with armoured vehicles. A hundred years ago, the first ever tanks were tested and developed at Bovington, where the Royal Armoured Corps is still based. The Dorset skills base is fundamental to what we do here. And actually, you know, I've, I've said in the past that I think we could put a man on the moon with the skills that exist in Dorset. You've just got to go around to the industrial estates and find out where these people are working. The brothers are now hoping they will be able to gradually expand their business over the next few years. Steve Humphrey, BBC South Today, Crossways.